We're with Renee Saxon, and welcome to Private Lesson Soundbites. How are you? Thank you. Welcome. I, I'm really glad to be here. That's great. I just uh, was reminded that uh, we've met you about four years ago, right? In, My gosh, uh, yeah. I think it was in New Orleans. Yeah, that's right. At that's the NAS right. conference. That's uh-huh. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you've been our member, and uh, thank you very much. Uh, so tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and your voice teacher. Well, I teach private lessons in Chandler, Arizona, which is just outside of Phoenix. And I teach all kinds of students, typically younger students and older students. Mm -hmm. And I have some students now that are just absolutely delightful and quite enriching to me because their second language is English. And they're trying to sing in English. And I found that to present sometimes a little bit of a challenge in diction, but sometimes actually a challenge in, in musculature. Um, so they're, they're uh, accustomed to a certain way of speaking? Yes, and, and, yes. Uh-huh. I have an Asian um, student who is an older man, and a, the, his, the way that they, that they speak in his native language is very tense. And the jaw and the tongue are very tense, like e, 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 right? So that's quite a bit of a challenge because we're actually talking some well-developed um, Muscular kind of memory or something, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Muscle memory and um, and speech patterns and speech patterns and inflections as opposed to a certain rhythm that that they yeah have. there right. are there are inflections that are sometimes a bit of a problem for him in going from um, his native language, which is an Asian language, to English. Um, And, of course, some vowels that are difficult for him to say and some consonants that are difficult for him to say. That's that's interesting. So it's it's, it's unusual, but yet a lot of people want to sing. It is an unusual problem. It is an unusual problem. Well, that's great. You also mentioned that you work uh, with kids. Yes, I work with a lot of children, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. younger children. um, Probably, I think my youngest student is like seven. I read... uh, I think it is in your bio that you also do kinder music. Am I right? Yes, I teach you? kinder music, uh, yeah. and that's as more well. group. And these are s- yeah, these kids. are groups of parents and their children uh-huh. for up to three years. Up to three years old, beyond three years old, there are programs for the children by themselves. But one of the greatest challenges is not so much having the children as is encouraging the parents to sing with their children. So a lot of parents really seem to feel now that they have to have production quality voices in order to sing to their children and that's not the case at all. The children want to hear their voices. So a lot of times I'll throw in a few pointers to the parents as to how they can improve their production when they're singing with their children. This is terrific. It's a wonderful story. I'm so glad that uh, you visited with us today. And oh, thank you success. so much for letting me share with you. Thank you.